Yes, ma'am, it is another Sephora sale, and I wanted to make sure that I put as many of the products that I am loving right now that I bought in my Sephora haul into this video, so you're gonna see a lot of them in action. This makeup look and how I achieved it is coming up in just a moment. Hello, my friends. I cannot believe that they're having another sale right on top of their other one. This one that I'm kind of basing this around is a one-time purchase. So 20% off one time for everyone. Before we get into me doing my makeup and you getting to see how I did this look today, I want to tell you, first of all, that um, I don't buy a lot of high-end skincare. And I was sent these two products right here from Kate Somerville, the Exfolicate Cleanser and then the Exfolicate this is the intensive exfoliating treatment and I love both of these. The cleanser is a little bit thicker, but you can thin it down with water. It takes all of the residue from my cleansing balm off. I love it. I've been using it for two weeks now and the exfoliate, this has a nice grit in it, but it's not so um, heavy that it's going to irritate your face. It's very fine but it's going to exfoliate and it's going to take off all the dead skin cells so that our new pretty skin can peek through. I really like both of these. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about is this set that I got from Sol de Janeiro. I'm so glad that I got this. This is their Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. This is the big size of it, the eight ounce size of it. It has the spray in it, which I love so much. It has the body wash or the shower gel, and then it has a body scrub in there too. And it has that same fragrance that the cream does, all of them do. It's just, for me, this is one of my very favorite, this is an indulgence that I usually do just once a year. I do wanna tell you also that this fragrance that they did, um, Sol de Janeiro and Anita, this is so yummy. It has the same type of a fragrance as the Sol de Janeiro's. It has a little bit of a pineapple fragrance in it, which I love. I love this fragrance so much. I mean, I literally could bathe in this. I hope that they bring this out in their cream and a wash and everything because man, oh man, I love this. And I would love it if they had an actual perfume in it. Oh, it's so, it's that good. So I do have a ton of prog products in here today. I probably wouldn't on a normal day use these many products on my face, but I do want to share with you as much as possible. But without further ado, let's get into the tutorial so that you can see what this is going to look like and how this look is going to all come together. And I will break it completely down for you and have a review of all the Sephora products that I think that you would love. All right, let's start off with the Rare Beauty Primer that is their Illuminating Primer. You know that I have been touting Tatcha like crazy. This feels like Tatcha with the illumination in it, and I really like it a lot. It's really pretty. Um, it gives you a pretty glow underneath your foundation. If you have a foundation that's super matte, you might really try it. The other thing it does is it does fill in those pores really well, and um, you can definitely feel that hydration in it. Anastasia Beverly Hills is my ride or die eye primer. If you guys haven't tried this yet, I know it's $13 for this tube. You get the 20% off, seriously, this will last longer than a year. I love this stuff because that right there on my finger, that's too much. A teeny tiny bit of this goes a very long way. It enhances the color of your eyeshadow. It grips that eyeshadow and makes it last all day. It's amazing. Next step, I've talked to you also about the Fenty Beauty Lavender Powder for fair to medium skin tones. If you're any deeper than light medium to deep, you probably probably won't like this very much. But what this is, is the lavender powder will definitely give you some brightness. You can wear this before you put on your foundation like I do in all of my tutorials, or you can put this on after and it still will give that beautiful brightness to it. I'm using the Sephora Guide Makeup Tape. I just take that from the corner of my eye to where the tail of my brow will be when I get my brows done. 
for the sake of time, we did that off of camera. I am using the Natasha Denona Retro Palette because I want this look to be very plum, very rosy. I kind of do this in reverse today. Um, we're going to start off with the deepest color right here that is a maroon, and I'm going to put that into the outer part of the eye. And as I'm laying that down, this is one of those angled brushes. As I'm laying that down, it's going to go just right into that angle. And then I'm going to take it and I'm just going to go over into the crease a tiny bit. I would say a third of your eye. There's not hardly anything going on to my brush. I just tapped into there once, maybe twice, and tapped it off really well. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. So that brings that makeup into that V or that tiny little triangle there on the outside. Next, I'm going to use my Refer 01 brush into the mauve tone in here. It's a medium tone. I'm going to mix that with the white just a little bit to bright, lighten it up just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to just, again, tap it off. And we're going to go right above where that was, where that V was. We're just going to take it from the tail. We're going to just push over into the other part of the eye. The other question that I get all the time is why do I do my eyes before I do my face? It's because of fallout. I'm really bad about that. Um, my hands shake, I might make a mistake, and my eyes are the most precision work. The face stuff can cover a lot of other stuff, so that's why I do it that way. Next, I'm gonna go into the Refer 02 brush, and I'm gonna go into the lightest shade, and I'm gonna load that up, and I'm just going to put it across the lid completely from inner to where that color starts. Now I'm going to go into this light pink color right here, which is a very pink color. I love it. What I want you to do is take your makeup spray and spray your finger just a little bit. You don't need a lot to spray your finger. Now that's going to adhere to your eye, but it's also going to make sure that the texture that a shimmer can give you won't necessarily show up in this look. All right, we're gonna go back in with that original brush that we had and we're going to just deepen it up just ever so slightly more i'm just going to try and gradient those two colors together i'm taking this pencil type brush from morphe i think it's an e36 or an e yeah i think it's an e36 it's a tiny precision little blender almost like a pencil brush and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into that dark color and i'm going to put a little bit of brown with it just a slight amount. I mean, I'm barely touching my brush down in there. Now I'm going to go out here and I'm going to start right there on the lid close to the lash line. And I'm going to take that dark color and I'm going to make myself a faux wing. Staying really close to that eye line or the lash line and then Barely, barely just trailing that out in the corner. Going back into that Refer 01 brush, I'm just going to take it over all of the eyeshadow and blend it towards the outer part of the eye. Right, easy peasy. And we're going to take off the tape. You're going to see that immediately. I do have a little tiny faux wing, which I absolutely love. This palette from Natasha Denona, I think when people look at it, they think I'm only going to get two or three looks out of here. You can get a warm look if you want to. You can get a very cool toned look if you want to. The berry, you can go to purple. You you can go to the brown look. I mean, there's, there's a lot you can do with this palette. So this was right up my alley and I love using this. It's been one of those ones that I've been reaching for like crazy. The Charlotte Tilbury, this is her color corrector and this one is in the medium tone. I decided to get the medium tone because when I went to get the other tones, they were just too, too light for me. And as you can see, I have very dark, dark circles. This goes everywhere that I feel like I need extra coverage. I take it out onto my very dark age spots and I just dot it around anywhere that I have other age spots 
and anywhere that I might have redness around my nose. It is very creamy, and yet it's not so creamy that it's just gonna go away as we're doing our foundation or our concealer. And it helps me use less foundation, which is the reason that I love having a good color corrector. Talked about the Shiseido Synchro Skin. This is the self-refreshing foundation, oil-free. This has a matte to satin finish, not dewy at all. It's why I didn't mind using the primer that had a little bit of illumination in it, but this is gorgeous and it's a good color for me, a really good color for me. It doesn't oxidize. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray my sponge with some Max Fix Plus two sprays. Then I kind of rub it in a little bit and I go in and I'm just bouncing this around. This is another way that you can keep your foundation from taking away your color corrector because lots of times when people are um, doing a brush, they're giving it this motion. Even with a sponge, they can do that. You really need to be bouncing your beauty blender. Now that was one coat for me and that is a medium coverage and I like this for day to day. Now if you're going to a special event, you might wanna put a little bit more on. Um, it just in strategic areas. For me, the strategic areas are what I showed you out here with the scarring. And pat very lightly to begin with to cover the areas that I feel like needs a little bit more coverage because again, getting heavy handed can make us look much too cakey. I absolutely could not do this video without showing you the Kosas Concealer. This is, I think it's called Revealer Concealer. I have put this in every video since I got it, and I got it right before the Sephora sale, and wow, this is amazing stuff. It truly is, and I have just been absolutely in love. Take your finger, spread it across. The warmth of your finger is going to help you work this in and this covers like a dream. It doesn't settle. It doesn't show off my massive, deep, cavernous wrinkles. It just is so good. I love this concealer. Even looking at it, I'm just like, whoa, it just does such brightening around the eyes and it's such a good product. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Uh, any of you that have been here for very long, you know that I have a palsy in my hands. It is very hard for me to do my brows. This is her Brow Wiz in medium brown. This is a very super teeny tiny point. I would love to see a more ash color. I like my brows to be a little bit darker because my natural hair color is kind of a dirty dishwater blonde, a dark, dirty dishwater blonde. That sounded terrible. Anyway, I just really don't like doing my brows. I don't like doing them on camera and I don't like doing them, period. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up off of camera. I heard a makeup artist one time say, brows are not twins. They're not identical twins. They're sisters. If that's the case, mine are like third cousins because I my brows are so hard to do. This is from Kosas. This is the Brow Setting Gel. This color, I believe, is medium brown. Why I like this is usually my pencils are just a little bit ashy, which I really enjoy having. And then if I put a tiny bit of a warmer toned um, brow, like setting gel like this on there, it gives them a little bit of extra dimension. So taking the Refer 21 brush, and I'm gonna go back into that really light matte color, and I'm gonna pick it up with a really tiny bit of the pink right there. I'm so tongue-tied today, I can't even think straight. And then I'm gonna come right down here into this corner and brighten everything up. It's really soft, but at the same time, it's bright because I mixed the two of them together. All right, this pencil is from Bare Minerals and it is so pretty. I'm gonna put this into my waterline. This is my latest find, this cute little sponge thing. This won't mess up my makeup, whereas my fingers will. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that just a pretty, bright, shimmery color? And it's gonna really brighten up this whole look. My suggestion to you is to do two coats of that, and then we are gonna go in with a Morphe smudger brush. This is a pointed pencil brush that's very stubby. This is 168. I don't know if they still have it or not. I sure hope they do because it's a great brush. And I'm going to start out with this color right here, which is kind of the cool mauve color in here, but it's lighter. And I'm going to attach that to the wing out here, but I'm gonna give a little bit of a smudgy wider look on the bottom, just a bit. Also going to take that dark color that we used, the red, 
or the burgundy on the very tip of this and I'm going to enhance that wing just a little bit right here for that outer corner. And I just screwed it up. There it is. Do you see that I just messed that up? Let me do the other one. Hopefully that won't get messed up. The other one I did fine. This one I messed up. This is how you fix that. I'm going to take this brush right here and I'm going to continue to try and just smudge the wing accordingly and make it a little bit starker. Cleaning off, I have a rag on my lap all the time when I'm doing my makeup. Cleaning off the brush as you go and you're just going to smudge it. Take your Kosas, take that little paddle brush, that concealer paddle brush. This one from um, Refer number 21 is very easy to use and it's very stiff and so it's gonna work great for this. And then you're gonna just very, very gently, very, very lightly carve the wing back out. I'm gonna clean that brush off really quick and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just dot that very pat it very slightly so that it will blend with the bottom concealer that was fixing a shaky hand mistake there you go shaking hands be damned i just really will not allow that to govern me i have a disability yes but it's not going to be one that's going to stop me from doing what I love, which is makeup. I will show you my very well-loved Danessa Myricks Contour Balm. This is a cream, and this is a crown brush that is just a very large brush that I've had forever. I'm going to show you that in action. I pushed this right back into that high forehead because it is... One of those things that I want to try and disguise. The nice thing about this particular color is that, yes, it's going to give you a pretty contour, but it's also going to give you a very pretty bronze look. So I don't have to use two products if I don't want to. Doing my cheekbones right there and the jawline. When you are using something like that, that is a double duty, you want to that sounded funny. Double duty. I used to say that when my kids were little. That's what I would call them when they messed their pants. It was a duty. Okay, I kind of bring this around onto my cheeks and whatnot and just kind of warm up all of the skin with this. I do want to say that this is a beautiful palette from Hourglass. This is their ambient. It's the second one that doesn't have the marbled blush in there. I can't see that well enough. Wait a minute. Lighting edit universal unlocked. So I'm going to go in with my Hourglass brush, which I reach for nine times out of 10, and it just lays down highlight really pretty. And I'm going to put that highlight right, right here in the corner on my cheeks and this isn't a very beaming highlight as a matter of fact it's not quite giving me as much as i want i'm going to reach for my dior this is the backstage glow face palette this is one that they had last year i didn't pick up the one they have this year but i just take my brush and i go through all three of those so as soon as i put that on you can see wow it just immediately puts that beam on the cheeks all right for blush i am so excited to use this blush from a KVD Beauty called Rosebud. I don't know if they have this or not on Sephora. I haven't even checked, but this is the most beautiful plum blush I own. I love this. Teeny tiny bit is going to go a long way because I'm going to put a little bit of cream blush on top of the other. So I'm going to start way out here, and that's where I'm going to build up most of the color. So pretty. I love this. Let me just show you a swatch of it. You can even use that as a eyeshadow. So pretty. I just love it. But when it's on your cheeks, you don't want to get too carried away with it. I'm going to take the Fenty Cream Blush. This one is in Cool Berry. Perfect tone for a plum look as well. One of my very favorites. And this brush will do cream products as easily as it does powder. So this one, I will swatch for you right next to the other one. Look at how pretty those two are together. Oh, woo, I love that. Okay. Probably a little bit more blush than I would wear for any look, but when I'm on camera, it's just a little bit more stark. I just cleaned off the Refer 2.8 brush, and I'm going to take my Sephora. This is one of their colors for cheeks, and this is called Second Chance, and this is extremely, extremely grayish, very contour like and i have two of these that i use for this i'm going to put a little bit of a shadow right here underneath my lip 
make my palette look bigger. All right, my beloved Kosas powder. This is the most pretty powder I've found. Two things that Kosas has done for me. I would not wear concealer. I would not wear powder. Kosas has just become what I do now. I do both. Kosas powder is gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these areas with my sponge very lightly in these areas and you're going to see it blur out my pores like crazy. It's so pretty. So pretty. I love it to blur your pores out. Reaching for the Benefit the Pore Professional Super Setting Spray, Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. This is so much like the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush. It gives the same exact effect. It really truly does. I can spray this on my face. The sprayer is lovely, lovely sprayer. I did a bunch of sprays there. And then I sprayed a little bit onto my sponge and I'm just pushing all of that in. This pencil is a Sephora eyeliner and I'm going to use it for my lips because I'm in love with it. And this is in just purple. It's an automatic liner and I like a purple lip. I know everybody doesn't, but I do like a purple lip. I can't do this and talk. I'm going to go ahead and put this on and then I'm going to show you something. All right, that's one more Tisha looking lip, isn't it? So take the other end, it's got a smudger, and I'm gonna just smudge this out just a little bit. Then I have two of the Sephora Lip Balm colors. If you've seen the L'Oreal ones, they're a lot like that. So I have two colors. I have this pretty pink, and then I have a purple purple, and I like both of them. We're going to put a tiny bit of that fuchsia purple on, just pouncing it around here. And then I'm going to take that pink and I'm going to go over all of it. I'm not going to need a gloss today. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to blot this once. That's going to help bring everything together if you blot it once and then go ahead and put that pink back on again. So it's very muted, but at the same time, it kind of just goes with this look. If you want to, you can put a gloss on top of it. It's not necessary with those lip balms. I've been enjoying this little set from Lawless, and I will just take the Plumping Clear one, and I'll just put a tiny bit right in the middle. Those are really good glosses, and they do have a really lovely plumping effect without being stinging at all. All right, this Shiseido Eyelash Curler is very much like the Refer Eyelash Curler in that it doesn't have a super scoop right here. It doesn't have such an arch that you're not going to be able to get all of your lashes. I really like this one. I think it is a lot like that. Then I'm going to take the Benefit Roller Liner Eyeliner, and this one is in their brown color. Now, I actually just started using this one. I like it a lot and it is very, very finely tipped. I mean, teeny tiny tip there. I like that about it a lot. And then the Lash Snack Mascara from Item Beauty. And this one I have just fallen in love with because of how small its brush is. Because as you, most of you do know, I do have a shaking in my hands, a palsy in my hands like I talked about earlier. And this is so little that it helps me make little strokes and it really can build up without getting too clumpy. It comes off easy, but it doesn't smudge. So you will have it there at the end of the day, but you won't have any smudging unless you were to like cry or sweat a lot. Um, I did have a day when I was up at my daughter's where I got um, kind of sick and um, it came off. It came off really fast because I was sick and had my head somewhere I didn't normally have my head over the bowl. And so, yeah, it, it just, it came off really easy that day, but that was because I was very, very sick and sweating a ton. Nice definition between the eye that has mascara and the eye that doesn't, and it doesn't have liner either. So I'm going to do the other eye. I will be right back with you. So there's the finished look. I hope that you did enjoy today's tutorial. I appreciate you being here with me. If you have any questions about any of the products or any of the techniques that I use today, please, please leave those in the comments section. I'd be happy happy to answer those questions for you. Also, I always put all the products in the description box. If you have a hard time finding the description box, there's just a little arrow underneath the 
title of the video that should you know open up that box and you should be able to see all of them i also always try to pin a comment which has most of the products listed in them sometimes i find that's a little bit easier for you guys to find too that's usually the first comment that you see so thank you so much for being here i hope that you did enjoy it and please give it a thumbs up on your way out i love you guys and i will catch you all in my next video take care of yourselves Bye bye